Hello, my crafty friends again. This is Lori, Girl on the Ridge. I have a video that I'd like to share with you about making some ephemera and um, pockets and tag or not tags really, pockets and envelopes. Um, this is my design team project for um, this month, and it is Whimsical Heart from Ephemera. And I just want to show you quickly the pages of what I'm working with. This way I can tell you how I pick out the my pockets and tucks. So this will probably be the cover. And you can see it's got a lot of pinks and greens. It's a beautiful kit. And little peaches. And the train it goes right through my city, right almost my front door, my shop here. So he's just crossing the street, which I kind of love the sound of it. That's pretty too. And then there's so much of this is a very large kit. And then some of the femoir that I already cut up. This this sheet is actually an extra. This is spring sketch um, journal cards. But I wanted the peach to add in with the pink, so I got that. And it's just such a beautiful cap. This envelopes and tags. And more tags. So I already cut, fussy cut some stuff out. And what I plan on using is cardboard. My sister-in-law always leaves me a bunch of this cardboard, nice flat um, squares at my door. And I rip it apart. You know, I take the back off. And then I, I'll take both sides off and stretch it out a little. Obviously, so it's not so thick. Otherwise, I'd have like a 20-inch spine. So I, I like the, the brown against so much color. So I have those pieces cut. Now, this one I just did because this is... Second time I did this, so I already um, decorated this, and this is just a regular envelope like this that I coffee dyed, and I kind of ripped it in like three quarters of it, so it fit the page, and it'll um, let's see where to go, and it'll fit the page, you know, nicely, the corner of it, especially I love the cream. It'll probably I probably will put it on a page like that. So I have that in um keep that in the back of my mind. And I what I just do is I take a um piece of the cardboard and some of the ephemera that I cut out prior. And I kind of like let's see. Let's go with something like that. This time I'll use Vintage Photo, ink it up a little, I got my big garage door open in the back, so got bumblebees flying in, I had a squirrel run in this morning, talk about nature, and then the motorcycles. And then, I don't know if your city, we I live in upstate New York, and in the middle of a city, we have the replica, um, replica of Fort Stanwix built in the middle of our city. So you might hear a cannon, cannonball, because I hear them practicing over there. So sometimes we hear the cannon shots, which is really, that's also pretty cool. Uh, what I took for... Um, Trim this time. I just brought one piece of doily. I brought some pink shiny stuff. And I did find this. It was got little beads or rocks in it. But it's kind of thick. So I don't know if I'm going to use too much of that. This kind of lace. And I always have my hug snug seam binding. And I did grab a couple of doilies that I got from my Tatter Dream um, Denise's shop and everything will be listed below of what I use so actually I might use in this let's get this out of the way I just tear this I might let's see I'm 
Yeah, we'll go that way. A lot of times, I really don't think too much about it because that's when I get in trouble. And somebody's revving up their motorcycles. I love spring. <laughs> then I'm going to take a little piece of this. I like the way it hangs. And yeah, we're just gonna. I always seem to hang out like this one. I always hang out in just one little corner. So I got that. And you know what? I think that's plenty because then I'm gonna have it on a busy page, and then I'll have a just like a uh, maybe. See, maybe I'd have it on a page like this. These aren't that green. They look really green on screen, but they're not. And then I would have probably definitely a smaller cream color tag to break up. So, it, you know, the embellishment pops up, but doesn't um, mingle in there. I always kind of put it against something solid. So that's another one. So I got those two. Then I'm going to do a little bird. And this one, I'll get a little of this. Actually, we'll just cut a corner. And put the corner. I like everything crooked. Put some. This is um, 